Good afternoon, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen Headquarters. What I thought we'd do today, since we're kind of on a little dessert thing and candy thing right now, I thought we'd take it one step further and make a great little camp treat, very reminiscent of the county fair, and make a funnel cake. So stay with me, and we'll get started, guys. Okay. The 48-ounce cup, and this one is part of the new French press, 40-ounce French press. This is my money maker for pouring stuff like pancakes, waffle mix, French, uh, sorry, excuse me, uh, scrambled egg mix. Anything that I'm making that I'm going to mix up a lot of it and I want to pour it off nice and slow or in a controlled amount, this is my money maker right here. We need one tablespoon basically of sugar. Level that out a little bit. We got some chunks in here. Now we want about three quarters of a teaspoon, which that's probably a little bit more than we need. About three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda. We just need a little pinch of salt. We'll just kind of put that in our put that in our hand here. That's probably more than a pinch. So we'll take a pinch, chuck the rest. Then we need a half cup of all-purpose flour. Get our half cup measuring device here. That's why that thing is the money. Because lots of stuff measured in one cup or one half cup when you're baking. The one third is easy enough to make up as you go. And mix those dry ingredients really good together. Remember, we're making a batter here. We're not making a dough. So we don't need something shallow enough. We can cut lard and butter and things like that into it. So something deeper like this will work just fine. Now, now we're going to go to our wet ingredients. And we need one quarter cup of milk. So that is a half of a half. Put one egg in there. Drop the whole shell in there, knucklehead. Get that out of there. Okay. All right, we want one teaspoon of water. And one teaspoon of our great... Watkins vanilla extract here. Put a teaspoon of that in. A little bit more. Ooh, that's too much. Got an ant playing games on us there. Looks like he's on our Watkins bottle. Trying to get sneaky there. Get out of there, you freak. All right, now we're going to start to mix this together and see what the consistency looks like. stirs there. All right, we'll call that good. Now, we've got to heat some oil. Now, we're going to heat this oil up. And I already heated it up once and turned it off. So it wouldn't take as long this time. Okay, let's get her done. Here and flip these over. All right, let's say that one's done for sure. And one more, we're gonna drain these on a paper towel. Now them dudes came out a little bit more blobby than funnily, but we didn't have anything to squirt that stuff in there with. We we're just pouring it. And we didn't have a real temperature gauge. And we're going to pour some powdered sugar into a sifter here. Just like this. Get some powdered sugar on those dudes. Call that good. Okay, so full disclosure here. I made one of these for my granddaughter. So she's coming over this evening. I'll save that one for her. That's the biggest one. I've got myself a chocolate soda. That ought to go real good. Made with real cocoa. That ought to go real nice with this. And some agave, 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 agave. We'll try agave and I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. Agave in the raw. 
This is very much like a syrup mixture. And I'm just going to take this funnel cake off the off the draining napkin here and throw a little bit of syrup on that dude. And that thing should be a money shot. We're going to find out right now. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> That's really good. Woo. Yeah. Definitely cooked all the way through. Definitely awesome. John, I know you're smelling that, but I don't think you want it. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. What's good? Holy cow. That'd be great for breakfast. Well, let's try some chocolate soda. <laughs> wow. Hmm. There's definitely chocolate there for sure. Wow. That's a good soda too. Glad I remember where I bought these sodas so I could buy another one. I liked it. That chocolate's pretty dang good. For sure. Guys, listen. I know this has been a fairly short video. Pretty quick and dirty process. I appreciate you guys joining me today. I appreciate everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I apologize if the videos are kind of sporadic. But I live at the Pathfinder School. And there's no internet service out here to speak of. HughesNet, if you call it internet, it's not. It doesn't work for uploading anything. Barely works to even look at the internet. And then my phone service is the crappiest phone service on the planet. So I'll leave that unsaid. But the point is, is that I have like one bar out here to two bars most of the time, very scanty internet. So I can't upload videos from this property. I have to leave this property, go somewhere else and find internet service to upload videos or when I'm traveling or something like that. So if they come sporadic, it's because I saved up three or four or five, to put them on a timed release, went and uploaded them. And then I've got to shoot three or four or five more. And if those three or four or five release before I get a chance to get more in the queue, then there becomes a gap in there. And I apologize for that. I do the best I can. But again, I do actually live in the middle of nowhere, eight miles from town. And there is no internet service out here to speak of. And again, there's no cell service out here to speak of either. So that's kind of the cost you get for living out in the sticks. Guys, I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. I really appreciate your views. I appreciate you guys taking the time to spend with me. Thanks.